Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Say so today we're going to be looking at a Singer 241-12. It's an industrial sewing machine, self-oiling from 1949. Sorry if there's a little bit of wind noise. I've got the door open to let a little light onto the workbench here, and it's windy today. So this is the reason I bought this machine. I was talking about I wanted a one of these old wooden heavy-duty tabletops. Um, for my 3115 to sit on and when I saw this tabletop well I was just gonna go for it machine and all and then here's the uh, pieces of the bottom of the 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 legs and whatnot of the uh, industrial table here they're green that's fine I already pressure washed those they were terrible this came out of a basement pretty nasty but the important thing was I got the tabletop I wanted. Uh, it had a toolbox. It had a, a bobbin winder and a thread stand right, sitting right there. And the crow is having a good time today. And yeah, so it had everything I wanted. I wasn't really interested in the machine. But now this is what's going on. Um, yeah, now I'm... Uh, curious about this machine and I think it's the same uh, size as the um, 3115 that I have the only problem is I, I wiped off a little bit right here but this was in a basement and I don't know I mean it is covered with I don't know how many years of grime so it's gonna need a major cleaning and obviously the person who owned it has passed on and the people I bought it from knew nothing about it which is usually the situation you know that's just what you got to expect with these machines and uh, when you lift the foot uh, there's a tiny bit of movement in the upper thread release and I am going to let's see what the bottom looks like looking at here is the bottom of the 241 you can see the self oiling pump Right there in the back and uh, it's a rotary hook I left it all nasty so everybody can see just what if you buy an old machine be prepared this is what you're gonna have to deal with cleaning all this up before you even probably can tell if the machine works properly here's something interesting that came with the machine at somebody's work they were writing down their the work they were doing and uh, in 1968, uh, they were charging two dollars and ten cents an hour. It was January, January one through the fifth, 1968. They did 60 blue linings, 20 hours, with a total cost of 39 dollars. So there you go. I am going to get this machine out side where I can get it cleaned up and inspect things a little bit oh yeah another thing is um, important when you get a machine if you get lucky you get packs of needles so I don't know if this is the correct needle or not I'm just gonna there is a needle in the machine right now you can see it right there I'm going to pull that out and compare it to the package here and then I've got a good starting point because I've never had this machine. I was thinking it was probably the same needle as the 3115, but it may not be because it's a rotary hook. So we'll see what things look like here in a few minutes when I get this cleaned off. This is the clutch motor that's currently on the uh, 241 I picked up on that wooden, ta wooden uh, tabletop I was after. And... Uh, Here's a prime example. I haven't cleaned this off or anything. Take a look at this motor. Th this is the reason why people say my clutch motor goes from 0 to 100 in 1.2 seconds. Uh, this is why they're saying that. Nobody's ever serviced this motor. Once it's been cleaned up and the clutch is cleaned and lubricated and things are adjusted, let's see if I can make it come on slow. And it even has a gigantic pulley on it I can see it from here so th that I might change out because that's cheap but I don't think you need to change a whole motor unless this thing's 
making a whole bunch of noise because it's been neglected. I've got the uh, tabletop outside here. I want to show you guys the clutch motor. Um, I thought for sure that this tabletop was going to be was going to be like from the 60s, but if you look right here, let me zoom in on it. We've got a date of March March 2nd, 1948. So this is correct to the sewing machine. This motor is let me get wide again here. This motor is much uh, newer though. This is a console made in Japan. But I'm happy to see that the RPMs are 1725. Those are the ones I like. And uh, that might be why it has the bigger pulley on it. Well, it's been a pretty productive day. I've got the Singer 241. Got the preliminary cleanup done on it. And uh, I've got the uh, all the hardware for the table there drying in the sun. I'm kind of standing back so I don't cast the shadow. And that's the shellac I'll be using on the tabletop tomorrow. This piece is drying. And I've got the tabletop back there. Got it all washed off. I just used some uh, water, a scrub brush, and uh, some uh, Gojo a hand cleaner. That works pretty good. And then I get it dry just as quickly as I can. I'll leave that sit out in the sun this evening and it'll dry up good and then I'll bring it in the garage. And tomorrow, weather permitting, I can get a coat of, coat of uh, shellac on the top of that table. So I think that's enough for today if you want to, if I have a good day tomorrow and it's not raining, I can get a little more done and maybe put another video up tomorrow. So thanks for watching. See ya.